by John Tillon, a Lieutenant General, U.S. Marine Corps. I'm currently the senior mentor for the Marine Corps. And so as part of my job, I, I go around to the various MEFs and run them through an exercise. The MAGTAF staff training program is what the uh, Commandant uses to get a feel for where his MEFs are in, in regards to readiness. A real issue for us is integrating information into our warfighting techniques and procedures. Uh, I think uh, we are very good at kinetic operations, but not so good at non-kinetic operations. And of course, dealing with the physical realm is, is pretty much falls into our wheelhouse. Dealing in the cognitive realm is something that we need to work on. So any information, any education, any training that we can come up with that helps us understand the, you know, the dimensions of kinetic and non-kinetic and cognitive and physical, we should take on board because we know how important it is in, in today's day and age. Uh, we are looking at information and integration of information operations in our uh, exercises. We've taken a look at our structure. We've now included organizations called the MAGTAF Information Group, which is made up of cyber experts as well as information experts, SIGINT, electronic management, uh, et cetera. And we're, we're really trying to figure out what that structure should look like and how we can bring together the whole of the MAGTAF, the whole of the MEF, to work together towards that integration. Um, I think we're okay, but we need to be better. And I think we're okay in the service realm, but we've got to be better at the joint realm. And I think doing joint operations and integrating the Army and what they're doing is something that we need to start exercising. We're making a start. We don't have the same organizational structures. We, we, each service has a little different approach. I think that's okay. Um, but we also need to make sure that we do exercise in the joint realm and learn from each other as well. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to get my education and then go back to the MEFs during their exercises to identify some of the issues that they have, try to get rid of some of the service culture, some of the... Um, branch culture, and start everybody looking at it through a service and in integrated joint lens rather than individual services. Well, the problem that the Marine Corps has right now is that there are there's branches like communications, intelligence, uh, fire support. And they all have a, a place in the COC, in the operations center. And they like to be in charge. They like to, they like to be the ones that are the integrators. So, for example, the the uh, fire support coordinator he wants to take all fires, whether it's kinetic or non-kinetic. Yet the intelligence folks have have a, have a, have a place and have a role in all that, and uh, they need to be integrated. Currently, you have the fiefdoms. You have your intelligence. You have your fires. You have your communications. And they sometimes do not work together. They like the idea of being in charge. We need to find a way to integrate it and give them an operations center where they have some responsibility, but more important, a little bit of influence, particularly in the, how the, the operation is prosecuted. So we're not there. It's going to take some time because nobody wants to give up control. For example, the whole issue of networks and network security. Uh, who owns the network? Does the uh, operational commander own the network, or do the base and facilities commanders own the network? All the work and all the maintenance is done on the base. So in our case, in our position, the uh, maintenance is done by the base people. So if a commander is, has an operational requirement, and they're told, for example, I need you to stand down, I need you to replace all your windows and upgrade it to Windows 10. And the commander says, I can't afford to do that. If I close business down, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be in trouble. So I need to continue to drive it. So there we have a, a little bit of an argument between you know, who owns it, the base or the operators. And I think that's a little bit of a struggle we need to work through. Taking the network and taking cyber, for example, to the tactical edge is another important part of integrating um, information. And taking things to the tactical network means, in, in fact, deploying to a theater, particularly in the Marine Corps, because we deploy often, we deploy frequently, we, we deploy quickly, is we need to be able to 
take our computer, our laptop, take it off our desk back in the base, and deploy with that laptop, plug it in, and not lose a beat. But unfortunately, in today's day and age, because of the, who owns the network and who operates it, that doesn't happen. So you have big pregnant pauses between deploying and being ready to fight. So those are the things we need to work through. And again, it's, it's a matter of sometimes, you know, stepping on other people's shoes in order to make things work. So these are some of the, the battles that we need to work through. First is addressing them. Then two is developing exercises and war games that integrate cognitive and non-kinetic fires and making sure that we, we do as many reps as possible so that nothing is new when the fight or the real war fighting requirements are needed. You know, one of the reasons why I'm here is because education is continuous and learning is continuous. And um, I obviously, uh, in my generation, you know, information uh, warfare wasn't really discussed as it is today. We didn't have the kinds of threats associated with what's real, what's memorex, you know, what's, what's fake, what's real. What do you trust? And of course, when we talk about trust, which is really the most important element in any organization is to have that trust among each other that you got my back, I got your back, and I'm going to take care of you, I'm going to use your information, and we're going to work together. Coming to school and getting the latest trends, understanding how other people are using information to improve their operational capabilities, uh, and having it in a forum for exchange, particularly among other services, other countries, both in the commercial industry as well as the military and, 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 and the political realm. Uh, integrating all that and having that conversation is important. Because, again, there's another debate going on, whether you know law enforcement, private industry, government, military, who's got access to the information world? Who's got access to the information, to the, inf to the Internet? And I think there's a lot of disagreement. You know, the law enforcement folks want back doors. The, the banking industry says you're not going to get a back door. So law enforcement says, well, fine, you catch your own criminals. I mean, those are the kinds of things that are happening where policy and technology are not really intersecting at the right location. So you're not getting that cooperation. But by educating and educating in a joint environment, you start, you set, you set the seeds for initial joint learning. And I think this is the place where it comes from. So my hat's off to him, and, and I think as well, the old guys like me need to continue to be involved as, as well because we are serving as mentors, and we need to be asking the right questions.